Hey guys, welcome to my conversation with your two-time Alabama state champion, Caleb Wright of Mortimer Jordan. Hey Caleb, how's that sound? Uh, everything sounds amazing. Yes, happy to be here. Uh, how is it? Uh, how is it take it, uh, coming back and getting a second one as opposed to when you got your first one? Was it was it a different feeling? Yeah, sir, it meant a little bit more to me to win it my last year going out. Is Couldn't there a... get the third one, but you know. Yeah, we're gonna get to that. Too. We're gonna we're gonna talk a little bit about uh because for the people who don't know you won it back when you were a sophomore didn't win it last year and then came back did you feel pressure this year yeah sorry for sure yes yeah. yeah okay all right um and i i really want to talk about what the difference is between kind of winning it that first time because you were just a sophomore you know and you've changed a lot since you won it just recently so anyway before we get to that Let's jump off the mat, though, and we're going to talk about a couple things just so I can we can kind of get to know each other. Is that cool? Yeah, sir. All right. So what is – is there a food that you just don't like? Salad. <laughs> <laughs> salad, okay. Did you have to eat a lot of salads? Were you, like, watching what you ate or no? Yeah, sir. I had to be pretty strict on the – on the diet but is there is there there. yeah is there something that you you craved that you were missing that you couldn't wait till the season ended so you could eat it mcdonald's (laughs) what do what do we get at mcdonald's uh big mac double quarter pounders yes any burgers really any burger fries i don't really like mcdonald's fries really okay all right um Milkshake or no milkshake? If I get a milkshake, it's got to be from Jack's. It's got to be from Jack's. What kind of milkshake? Oreo, for sure. Oreo. Okay. All right. Well, you say it like I, I'm supposed to. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> what um, milkshake do you go with? That's the I, only stra- one. Strawberry. Strawberry. Strawberry? Yeah. That's different. Oh, no. I. I <laughs> oh. Okay. All right. Um, best breakfast food. Pancakes. Pancakes. Pancakes and bacon. Yes, sir. Uh you uh smother it or no? And, and yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. Are you uh are you more of a like which do you hate more? Really hot or really cold? Really cold. I feel like I've gotten used to being really hot. Okay. Okay. I get that. Um yeah, no, really, really cold. All right. So do you remember like, like you, I mean, we, we live in the South. Like, have you been up North where it's been really cold? Uh, yes, yeah, sir. For, um, you was folk style opens. Oh no. Folk style nationals. It was pretty cold up there in Iowa. In Iowa. Yeah. What, what'd you think of Iowa? It's just really open, you know? yeah pretty, no. pretty boring yeah a lot different than alabama for sure yes yeah, sir all right so pineapple on pizza yes or no yes but not all the time okay all right so you're you're good with it but you don't want it all the time yeah, um sir. what 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 is a pizza that you would order i know it sounds kind of basic just cheese pizza okay no that's cool i get you how about sushi? You a sushi fan? No, not really. No, not really. All right. All right. So a couple other questions. Telekinesis or telepathy? Telekinesis, the ability to move something with your mind, or telepathy, the ability to read somebody else's mind? If I could give you the choice to have one, which one would you want? Be able to read somebody's mind. Yeah? Yes, yeah, sir. All right. Who, uh, who, who, Whose mind would you really want to read if you could read it? Any of my opponents. Oh, okay. I got you. <laughs> All right. Um, last question. Before, well, not, kind of the last question. Time machine or magic wand? That's a tough one. That's a tough one. Time machine or magic wand? Yeah. What can I do with the magic wand? I think you could probably create anything. 
Oh, the magic wand, then. I could just make a time machine. There you go. Right, right. That's the loophole to that question. Now, if you did get a time machine, are you going to the future or are you going to the past? I'm going to the future for sure. All right. Are you going to go like 10 years in the future or like 200 years in the future? Probably just like 10 years. I don't want to see the future that far ahead. <laughs> I got you. All right. Is there a talent that you have off the mat that maybe other people don't know about i can sing you could sing yeah sir i mean we won't get into that on here but yes yeah, sir okay no 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 that's cool you could sing that's that's awesome have you been singing for a long time how'd you learn how to sing i just like doing it by myself or when i'm with friends okay all right is there um is there a particular style r&b mostly r&b okay is yes, that what sir. you listen? Do you listen to music before you warm up, or when you warm up? Yes, yeah, sir. Is it R and B or? No, sir. Usually, it's either like hard rap or country. Wow, those are two very different things. <laughs> I'm a little diverse, you know. You, you you are a little diverse. You are definitely. All right, so let's go on to the mat, and I want you to take me back in time to when you first started wrestling first how old were you how'd you get into it all that jazz i got back into it around seventh grade i was around 12 13 brody christmas one of my close friends he was wrestling he was doing really good at it and i really just didn't find a sport that i liked until i did wrestling what was it about wrestling that you liked I like that everybody couldn't do it. It's not made for everybody else. You really got to be built for the sport. You do. You do. I love actually the way you said that. You have to be built for the sport. What do you think is the most important attribute that you have as a wrestler? My mindset and my mentality. Okay. I love that. Because that, that is a wrestler, right? That is somebody who, who can kind of grind through the things that kind of suck and kind of get through it and everything else. That's, yes, that's awesome. That's awesome. All right. So if you were to think back to that younger self and you were going to give that person advice today, what would, what piece of advice would you give yourself? Don't take any time off. Every chance you get on the mat, make sure you use it as much as you can. Okay. All right. Did you you took time off? You said you came back. Is that is that what you were referring to? No, sir. Just you know, some days you don't feel like going to practice. You just want to go to sleep or something. But forcing yourself to get up and go, I feel like that just makes the biggest difference. I got you. I got you. All right. So let's let's talk a little bit about the career. All right. So um, two years ago. Um, you came in, I think you were like second in maybe the section. I, I'm trying to remember, but you weren't necessarily the top seed coming in. And you marched through the bracket and you won it as a sophomore. Yes, yeah, sir. Did you first going into it, do you remember back coming into that tournament? I mean, I, I'm sure the goal was to win, but did you... Like, did you figure that you could beat everybody in your way? Yeah, sir. I knew I had a an amazing chance to beat everybody. I just had to game plan and study for that last match, Preston Jones. Yeah. Yeah, sir. Yeah, and you won what? Four, three? Yeah, sir. Gave up in the, a reversal in the last period. Stall call. But, but yeah, sir. I, I, all right, so where where are you best on the mat? Are you best at, on your feet, on bottom, or on top? I would say right now, I'm best on top. You're best on top? Yeah, sir, but I'm also really good on my feet. Well, you had to be really good on top in your last match, but we're going to get to that in a second. All yeah, right, so, so you uh, you win a state title as a sophomore. Do you um, – I, I know the expectation's got to be that you're going to win it again as a junior. Yes, yeah, sir. So what what happened? Like what what was the I mean, you ended up losing to Springfield, I think, in the semis, right? Yes, yeah, sir. So 
is there is there something that happened it was it not your match what i mean you're not making excuses i'm just really curious of you know what happened yeah so i feel like i just overlooked him a little bit too much and i wasn't worried about him at all going out they're not having the best match just wrestling bad overall yeah i just wasn't in the right head space all just, right yeah how hard was it to come back and take third after you lost was it were you motivated to do it or were you kind of devastated and it was hard to pick yourself up i was really devastated it was it was a tough match after that one too i feel like i just didn't showcase my abilities to the best yeah yeah all right so so after finishing your junior year and taking third pressure to finish on top this year yeah, so there was definitely pressure, but with the with my ego and my mentality, I knew I was gonna bring it out on. All right. Okay. Well, and you you had a great year, right? You you had a you had a lot of wins. I think I think I saw you guys at Southern Slam. Were you at Southern yeah. Slam with the group? Um, Gulf Shores. No, that was the one in um that was the one in uh South Carolina early in the year. Yeah, sir. Yeah, I thought I remember seeing you wrestle there. Um, so, so you had some good matches. You, you had some tough opponents throughout the t- course of the year. You get back to the state finals, and you get Springfield again. Like, I mean, it, how many times have you wrestled Stephen Springfield? More times than I can count, to be honest. <laughs> I mean, it does seem like you guys have crossed paths quite a few times. Yeah, sir. I think the year that I won state my first time, he was in my bracket, I'm pretty sure. I think he I think he was, but did you I don't think you wrestled him that and that's bracket. No, sir, I didn't wrestle him that bracket. Yeah. All right. So so you get Springfield in the state finals and um you I if I remember correctly you are down four three in the third period and i'm watching it and i'm thinking to myself why is caleb why why aren't you letting him go to take him down to tie it up were you that confident on top like what was going what what was happening yeah so i just felt it in the earlier bit in the second period i'm pretty sure I got a late turn. It was out of bounds, though. So I just felt like I could turn them. And you did in a really close call on the edge of the mat. Um, yes, sir. Were you surprised that, I mean, because he, he had gone to his back and it flipped back over and he'd gone to his back and flipped back over. Um, you got the call. I know they, they challenged, or they didn't challenge it, but they went to the table to talk about it and that sort of thing. 20 seconds left, you're up 5-4. What's going through your head? Well, there's this saying that me and Brody have. It's just you can do anything for 20 seconds, 30 seconds. So I knew I could just hold him down for 20 seconds. And you did. And how did it feel to win a second one? It felt amazing. It's just... All the hard work that I put in, it feels like it's finally paying off. Yeah, no doubt. No doubt. How how different was it than the first one? I feel like this one meant more to me. It went meant more. Yeah, I got sir. you. I got you. All right. So what's next? What's what 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 is on the horizon for you? I don't want to say too much, but you know, I'm going on a couple of college visits trying to decide where I want to go, what's best for me. And just keep wrestling next level. Okay. So the plan is to to try to wrestle up at the next level. Yes, yeah, sir, for sure. All right. Are you gonna be uh competing at uh at NHSEAs or anything this summer that, that I might see yet? Uh I know for a fact that I'm going to the Las Vegas Opens mm-hmm. and a couple of more tournaments. It's just tough time finding tournaments because now I'm 18. Right. Yeah, no, no, I I know, I know, I know. So yeah, they they kind of narrow down on your chances, your your and all that. 
Um, all right. So the last question I have that I've asked every single person is why wrestling? What makes wrestling special to you? Like I said earlier, not everybody can do it. And nobody knows how hard the sport is until you've tried it. Yep. That was perfect. All right. Well, Caleb, congratulations on your second state title. I want to wish you the best of luck in the future with um, wrestling and school and, and everything else in life. And uh, hopefully I'll see you soon on the mats, man. Yeah, sir. Thank you for your time.